Guys, the number one reason why women love men who have money is simply because there are times when she has a financial crisis. Madam, you know what I'm talking about. Rent has disappeared for three months. And the landlord is looking for you as if you are a member of opposition. You are... <laughs> and you call your boyfriend with hope. You're like, hi, Jonathan. A guy who has money, it's not an issue. Like, yes, yes, baby, what's the problem? Like, you know, I don't know how to say this. You know, I'm really, really down financially. And uh, I haven't paid rent for three months. And the landlord is really, really, really looking for me. I don't know what kind, I don't know if you could help me. And it, it doesn't take long before he helps you. He's like, no, no, that's not an issue. Uh, how much is your rent? It's like, it's just 300,000 uh, Uganda shillings. Uh, three months, that's like 900K, I don't know. It's like, oh, no, that's fine. That's, uh, that's roughly three, four hundred dollars. They always talk in dollars. They never talk in shillings. <laughs> That, that's roughly four hundred dollars. So uh, what I'll do, I'll send you five hundred dollars, uh, pay your rent, and you know, use the rest to stay beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! There's romance when you have money. Yes. Use the rest to stay beautiful. He even gives you options. He's like, so so, what do I do? Do I send on mobile money? Do I send in your bank account? Do I give you cash? Like, what do you want? And you tell him what you want, madam. You tell him. Put on Airtel, on MTN, they demand me. He puts on Airtel because on MTN, they demand you. Very empathetic. Problem solved. When you call a broke guy, yo, it's like a police interrogation. It's like you're talking to a police officer. He doesn't solve your problem. He asks you more questions about your problem. You don't have rent, you call it up here. Up here, how are you? <laughs> Angela, long time, long time. You are lost. Say, so, no, uh, up here, listen, I, I have some problems. Uh, we all have problems. <laughs> Look, no, stop playing. Like, I really, really have an issue. You know, uh, there's no money. Like, there's no money everywhere. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Like, I haven't paid rent for three months, and the landlord is really looking for me. Eh. I don't know why broke guys delay to understand. You haven't, eh? So what is the problem? <laughs> I haven't paid rent for three months. Like, the landlord is looking for me, eh? So, okay. How much is the rent? Say, so it's just 300K per month. Like, I haven't paid three months, so that's like 900K. I don't know if you could, like, help me out. Eh, 900. So, let us, so, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. What do we do? What? If a man asks you, what do we do? <laughs> Not what do I do? What do we do? 900 shout. <laughs> Instead of solving your problem, he asks you a question. 900 But why do you stay in houses of 300,000? <laughs> I told you leave Muyenga, come to Kabalagala. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Dr. Hillary. You guys have been great.